Greetings folks, welcome to a teardown video, eventually your 2020 HP Omen, this one featuring the Ryzen 7 4800H, will need a repaste should you wish to maintain strong thermal performance, perhaps every 6-12 to 12 months depending on the paste and your climate. Now our unit here is only a few days old and was built within the last month, so new thermal paste did lower temperatures, therefore I have nothing to reveal. For the savage thermal performance from this laptop, please check out the review link below and at the end of the video. First start off by removing the 8 Phillips head screws, then start to peel the back panel off, starting at the back, then work towards the sides before removing the front. You will not need to pry and therefore damage your HP Omen. Next, unplug the battery. Back out the 7 screws that hold the heat sink onto the motherboard as well as the 2 screws, one in each side of the cooler. Lift up on the cooler between the Wi-Fi card and memory. This angle will allow the cooler to lift as you slide it towards the battery. After this, remove the old thermal paste with isopropyl alcohol, clean cloths, and paper towels. Take your time, be careful, no need to rush and damage anything. Do the same thing to the heat sink itself as well. Reinstall any thermal pads that were dislodged during this process. The small video memory pad at the corner did come off. I just removed that completely as there's plenty of pad left for that chip. Apply thermal paste as you see fit. I used the line method for rectangles and the P method for squares. You would have a feel for this too if you had done this nearly 300 times like I have. I'll link some thermal paste recommendations down below. Reinstall the cooler with the fin array first, making sure it is pressed into the back of the chassis. You'll know you have it set correctly if the two screws on the outside of the cooler line up. Slowly work all seven screws on the cooler per the order labeled. It should take about three times around before it's secure but not overly tightened. Don't forget the two screws at the sides of the cooler. Plug in your battery, then proceed to reinstall your bottom panel. And that's it. Don't forget to check out the review. Hopefully this helped you out. Thanks for watching.